Hello friends. So this is the question number 44 from code D. As you know, we have been solving the physics section for now. In this question, we have been given a coil of resistance 100 ohms and a current is induced in that coil by changing the magnetic flux. Now the variation of current with time as that change in magnetic flux took place is given via a graph. And the graph is simple as follows. Now we have been asked to find out the change in the magnitude of flux when this entire change in current took place. So the formula that we're going to use over here is that I know that my EMF induced in a, in a coil or in a circuit, if I change my magnetic, fix, magnetic flux is given by minus of d phi by dt. This is what I know for sure. Now I need to find out the change in that flux and I need to find the magnitude of it. One thing I must do before I proceed is I express my current as a function of time in, in form of a simple equation. So what I do is I use y is equals to mx plus c to represent the equation of this line and when I put all the values I get my current as a function of time to be minus 20 t plus 10. Now using this formula I can find out, now I'll write my solution for this, so using this formula I can find out that e dt is nothing but is equals to minus d phi. So if I want to find the change in flux and the magnitude to in, to in this particular case, I just need to integrate this. Now what varies over here is I know is the value of E because I know E is nothing but I times R. That is my potential difference is nothing but current into resistance. Now for now, we'll just focus on the magnitude so I can remove the negative sign from here as you're nothing but trying to calculate the magnitude of change. So I, as we know, is a function of T which is equals to minus 20 T plus 10 times r which is equals to 100 in this case. So and that added to that is a dt sign. So if I just integrate this entire equation from time t equals to 0 to time t equals to 2, uh, 0.5 second in which the entire change took place, I'll get nothing but the value of change in flux. So my delta phi comes out to be 250 if I solve this, I'm not doing the calculations right now, but if you solve it, it will come down to be 25, 250 ver uh, verbers. So this is how you should calculate the value of change in flux if such situations comes. So in case if you like the solution, please subscribe to our channel and hang on to our YouTube channel as we are uploading the video solutions very soon.